the contemporary writer must bring their art to bear on the past and still present continuous racial, economic, and political injustices through their work. This is especially because beyond the commonplace general view of writers as conscience of society, the African writer carries the weight of his people's history upon his frail shoulders. Frail it is indeed, only because he is unwilling to bear that weight. Here is Mal the Malagasy writer John Luc Rahimanana complaining from the African comfort of Paris. Quote, we are only promising young authors filled with revolt, with a desire to abscond from the legacies of our elders, a legacy that was hard to bear. The whole continent Spain, in fact. Our only wish was to write, to be good writers, to play with aesthetics, or just tell a story. And here we were, 20 years old, and summoned to save Africa. Who are the elders Raimanana is referring to? Foundational African writers like Achebe, Ferdinando Yono, Ngugi Wationgo, Augustino Neto, Mongu Betty, Tati Lothard, and many more Anglophone, Francophone, Lucifer, African writers who use their heart to witness against colonialization and apartheid, who fought for the freedom that this new generation enjoys. Clearly, some third generation African African yeah. diasporic writers are merely enamored with it? literary glamour, but not with its burdens. Oh, no, you know, the burden you. of bearing um, witness. That glamour is symbolized yeah, like, in many literary prizes, which the imperialists would wink our writers. Kane Prize, oh, the Bell yes. Prize, the Prix Goncourt, if, if I use that, that you think that there are many bribes and distractions to keep us away from criticizing our yes. oppression. These prizes are the equivalents of those aid packages given to African governments and which disappears into greedy bottomless pockets. Suddenly, the writer and the politicians are both jostling for dribbles from the master's table. When writers fail in bearing witness of sensitizing the people, the political and economic chaos now prevalent on the continent is the result. It is to be expected that Achebe did not get a Nobel Prize, despite many rumors of his possible investiture during his lifetime. You do not get prizes well, when you you your work upsets the status quo. Prizes are for those writings uh, that continues to project the image of an Africa of ravages, redolent in the Western imaginary since the 13th century. 